Hey guys, what's up? It's me, San Francisco. So I'm really excited for today's video because I have here the latest base product from as far. This is their P Velvet Liquid Foundation. Okay, so this product was released months ago. Now in their P Velvet line, we have two products. Okay, so first, the cushion. Second is their liquid foundation. We have something like this. I'm really sorry for not posting any videos. It's because first, the election happened. And then second, I got sick. But I can say na major okay na talaga ako, and I can definitely say na I'm officially back. Okay, so next week is also going to be an exciting video because I'll be reviewing another lip tint product. Okay, so abangan niyo. This video, I will not just focus the review, sub performance, and the quality of this product or this foundation. I will also focus dun sa kanyang shade. Okay, so hindi ko na to If you are interested in this video, just keep on watching. So let's start. Let's first start with the packaging. The packaging looks like this, okay? So I find this really beautiful and really interesting because of its unique shape. Honestly, I don't have anything like this in my collection and I did not expect that they're going to use a red shade for their packaging. When it comes to liquid foundation, we normally see basic colors, let's admit. For example, black or something that's like nude, very minimal when it comes to like their designs. But for this one, this one is really bold and Look at this is really cool. It doesn't look cheap. Beautiful. Something like this for the pump bottle. It's just like the pump bottle from their Be Glow Foundation. Okay, so their Be Glow Foundation looks like this. Okay, so I told you guys before you now with this kind of uh, pump, eh, mas less yung mess na create ng isang base product. Okay, so less than na uh, masasayang yung base product niyo. Okay, so yun yung kinaganda ng mga pump na meron tap na ganito. This product looks hydrated, but the consistency is not that liquid. Once the product is set, the texture looks very thin and fine. And I must say, I'm already liking the finish. Time for us to talk about the shade. We have 10 shades in this collection. Their last shade is called Deep. That is the shade number 28. I'm really happy because Espar is still able to continue creating deep shades for their base products. Because other Korean brands, pag nakapag release na sila ng base or deep na base product from their previous collection, hindi na let ito iko continue. Pero yung Espar, really nice. Now for the scent. Okay, so I really like the scent of this product. Okay, so it's actually similar to the Be Glow Foundation. Very SPF, very skincare, very lotion. I love the vibes. Sorry, commercial, but can you hear those kulit legs? Because <laughs> star ako mag film and every time I edit ako, naririnig ko yan. So I'm really sorry kung naririnig niyo yan. I won't go back and meron dumikit na kulit. <laughs> it is what it is. Pero wala na ako magagawa so I'm really sorry. <laughs> Before we proceed to the application, let me just show you some of the foundations that I use. This will help you determine if their deepest shade from their B Velvet line is going to be the right shade for you. Okay, so first foundation is going to be the L'Oreal foundation. We have something like this. So I'm in the shade Golden Beige and we have something like this. Right here actually looks light and it is really warm. Now with this foundation, I still like it because it's still workable for people with medium skin tone. I still like the color. It's still beautiful. You're not going to look like Casper once you try this foundation. Okay, so next foundation brand is the Laneige Cushion. We have something like this. This is in the shade 31 N from Laneige, also called as the shade brown. Now this shade right here is a warm shade. But if you look closely, it looks really neutral on my skin tone. Not too cold, not too warm. Out of all the cushions that I've tried before, this one is like the perfect shade for my skin tone. Next foundation is this one right here. This is the Espar Be Glow Foundation, my current favorite foundation. It's a beautiful warm shade and I really like the fact that I don't have to mix it with other foundations in order for me to get the perfect shade for my medium skin tone. This shade alone works really well with my skin tone. Super love. Last foundation is going to be the Pro Taylor B Velvet Foundation in the shade Deep. Now let's see if it's going to match my skin tone. Okay, so for this one, their B Glow Foundation is much more warmer, more yellow. For the B Velvet, <clears throat> for the B Velvet, I noticed that this one is more cool tone, and this is going to brighten up my skin tone. But let's see. Okay, so for the application, we're going to use a sponge over here and a puff applicator over here. I actually broke the packaging, so I'll just wipe it like this.
With the use of sponge, I noticed that the finish of this one is very fresh, very natural, and very healthy. Now, in terms of the coverage, I feel like it's pretty light because I can still see some imperfections over here and red veins over here. For the buff applicator, I super love the coverage. Like, look at that. It's really beautiful, no red spots, no red veins, dark spots are gone. I super love the coverage. For everyday makeup, I will suggest you use this sponge right here. And for glam days, use a pop applicator. Now, can we talk about the shade? I did not expect this at all. A while ago, it looks really bright, really cool tone, but it works really well with my skin tone. It looks really beautiful. I did not expect this. I'm super impressed as far. I super love the shade. Since the finish of this one is semi-matte, this one is less sticky. Now for the Be Glow Foundation, that one is much more moisturizing and hydrating on the skin. So if you're a fan of that kind of finish, you are going to love the Be Glow finish. But if you want a semi-matte finish, go and get this one right here always good to set your base product with a powder so I'm gonna use this translucent one from one size BB so let's start On to my final thoughts, okay, so I love the coverage, the shade, the performance, and the quality of this foundation or this product. My only issue here is that the texture is different. I thought it's going to be velvety when it comes to like the texture, but for me, the feeling or texture of this foundation is different, okay? So if you are familiar with Cleo Fanware Cushion, Happy Skin Tinted Moisturizer, for me, those products are more velvety in terms of texture. But for this one, the SRB Velvet, it's not velvety at all. I'm not saying that the product is bad, I just feel like the product is not velvety enough, okay? So regardless, I still find the performance and the quality of this product really beautiful. I highly recommend it. This product is not a mask-proof product. I have to say, kahit ano namang foundation dito sa Philippines, like the weather here is really hot talaga. Like yung tipak talaga, mapapawisan ka talaga. Kahit ano pang pag-set mo yan ng powder, lilipat at lilipat yung base product mo sa mask. I recommend this product kung magbumuha lang kayo, if you wanna go on a date with your jowa, or kung pang everyday makeup lang. Pero for editorial, I'm not gonna recommend this product because hindi siya ganun ka-intense yung coverage niya, hindi siya ganun ka-high or ganun ka-full yung coverage niya. Okay, nandun lang tayo sa medium na coverage. Now, before I end this video, let me just show you this comment. Okay, so sasagutin ko din itong comment na to dito sa video na to kasi I feel like medyo concern ko din to to be honest kasi yung Shea na 31 <laughs> Sobrang ganda kasi niya for medium-medium, kaya feeling ko lagi silang out of stock. Hopefully, magawa nito ng paraan ng Laneige Philippines. Kailangan nila mag-stock kasi napakaganda talaga ng shade nito. 31N, really perfect for medium-medium. And nakakabili lang ako niyan ulit sa Sephora. Okay, so sa Laneige um, official site kasi parang hindi ako nakakabili doon. Kasi monthly ko chinicheck lagi yung 31N na shade sa Shopee and Lazada ng Laneige Philippines. And minsan yung glow cushion lang yung available. Pero yung matte na cushion, hindi siya available. Okay, so for sure kasi mas gusto nila yung matte. Kasi alam nyo naman yung weather dito sa Philippines, hindi tayo masyadong fan talaga ng glow. Pero ako, I love glow. Pero pagdating sa cushions, kasi ayan, you rumble na. With the so cushions, kasi I mas gusto ko yung matte ng lineage. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this makeup video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. See you again next time. Bye.